GDP estimates for the January to March quarter of the last fiscal and provisional estimates for the last fiscal are scheduled to be released on Tuesday. Economic activity is expected to have lost some pace in the fourth quarter, marking the third straight quarter of decline, exacerbated by the spread of Omicron and the still ongoing adverse geopolitical developments. GDP growth is expected to have slowed to 3.8% in the fourth quarter of FY22, compared to 5.4% in the previous quarter, according to economists polled by Bloomberg. GVA is estimated to have grown by 3.6% from 4.7% in the same duration. Along with figures for the fourth quarter, we will also see revisions to the figures for the previous quarters on Tuesday. Weakness is expected in the rural economy as higher input costs weigh on farm output, according to Barclays. Elevated input costs and supply chain disruptions are also likely to have impacted mining and manufacturing, while construction is expected to have seen a strong bounce back. Curbs on activity because of the third wave are also likely to have hit services. While trade activity was strong, higher import bills will weigh on GDP, according to Barclays. The financial sector was aided by conducive liquidity conditions and low interest rates. Going forward, strong credit growth, a large increase in investment intentions and a high budget allocation to CAPEX indicates that the investment cycle is strengthening. This is according to Moody's Investor Services. But a rise in crude oil, food and fertilizer prices will weigh on household finances and spending in the coming months, Moody's has cautioned. It has added that the rise in the benchmark repo rate to prevent inflation from becoming generalized will also slow the demand recovery momentum. But unless global crude oil and food prices rise further, the economy does seem strong enough to maintain solid growth momentum. Stay tuned to BQ Prime for more updates on the Indian economy.